In today's video, I'm going to take a look at some parts which I had salvaged from old radios or vintage receivers. What normally happens, I get the parts, I throw them in a little container, and then, of course, I get more and more parts. And then one day, I always decide, well, I'm going to go ahead and take another look. Am I going to keep these parts, or am I going to go ahead and measure them, see if they're okay, and then put them away somewhere, and they'll end up in something like this here. Now, these are... Like these were actually made for coins and then I use a little tiny little small ziplock bags I put the parts in there and then I can go ahead and find everything I don't have as much um, as many parts as I used to I used to have these big um, metal bins with little um, I don't know what what you would call little they have little plastic clear drawers and I had a bunch of those but I don't have thousands of parts no more like I used to well, maybe it's at least a four-figure, though. So, um, here in front of me are two crystals, and I believe this is a ceramic resonator. And I think I'm going to start with this one. This is, um, seems, I can read here, 456. So I think it's 456 kilohertz. And what I'm going to do is simply, I'm um, using a accurate audio generator and you can just see the probes from the audio generator and I've, I've also got a oscilloscope and basically I'm just going to go ahead and take the probe here oscilloscope probe hooked up to the hot side of the um, generator and then I just put the two grounds to together and that's basically that's all I need and I'm going to go ahead and turn my um, generator that I'm using the signal generator up pretty high and my scope I'm just using my tech 22 basically 35 and here I'm using a old uh, Panasonic, um, National Panasonic um, RF generator which is putting out the signal. You see I've already got it dialed in for 443,000 Hertz or 443 kilohertz and I'm going to go ahead and slowly bring it up toward that 456 kilohertz. Um, the 456 is also on the ceramic resonator and I've got the the generator turned up pretty high because I want to be able to get some kind of a signal coming out. I want to be able to see something. And here you can see the scope, the waveform right there. What we're looking at. And I think what's going to happen is, now I haven't did this for a long time. Uh, once we reach the point of resonance or once we reach the working uh, point of the um, ceramic resonator or the crystal this waveform here is going to get really really large and that's going to be basically the point of resonance as I go up in frequency and if I pass that frequency it's going to go ahead and get this waveform here is going to get smaller again it's probably going to end up um, filling the whole um, screen here and this Panasonic um, I can't dial it in um, for this frequency as close as I would like to I could use this here and then I can really dial it in but this thing is uh, it's pretty accurate this is a HP 3325 but it has a fan in it and it's pretty basically pretty loud so I'm gonna go ahead now and start bringing the frequency up and as far as the scope is concerned right now I have it on point Basically, I've got a 0.5 volts uh, per division. And, of course, this voltage is peak-to-peak uh, -peak since it is an oscilloscope. So I'm at 443,000 hertz or 443 kilohertz. And I'm going to go up to 445 kilohertz. Rather, I'll go up higher to 
448 kilohertz and you can see what's happening here on the scope and here's what we're basically getting right now you can see the waveform has gotten larger so I'm going to try to hold the camera in one hand and go up in the frequency with the other hand I'm at 449 thousand Hertz or 449 kilohertz now it should be getting larger and larger as I'm coming toward the specified frequency you can see right there I'm at 450 kilohertz so I'm gonna to have to adjust the scope here to one volt per division let's keep going up no it went back down so that's 450 kilohertz let me go up a little bit at incremental to 400 50 kilohertz and 100 hertz and we'll see should start there it is it's going back down so basically this is uh, it the frequency right there 450,000 and 100 hertz now these ceramic resonators are um, they're not as accurate as actual crystals um, but they are cheaper I think this is supposed to be a 0.5% tolerance, tolerance so I think this would be a little bit out of specifications so let me go ahead and try a crystal here so I'm expecting a little bit more from this crystal. I also I just noticed um, before I started this video I went on eBay and there's actually actually crystal oscillator testers you can get from China only for a couple of dollars including shipping so that's probably the route I'm gonna go of course you could probably go the old school method and build your own but that wouldn't make sense nowadays so let me go ahead and try to read what it says on here this is 7.2 um, megahertz so let me go ahead and set um, things up let me get things hooked up again so I have the crystal hooked up same way I did before the scope probe is hooked up to one end of the crystal one pin and the hot side is generated to the other side and the two grounds are together and right now the RF generator is at 7 megahertz and I think I said this was supposed to be 7.4 I believe um, of course now I can't see with the light but we'll find out and I turn up the audio generator a little bit and since we're dealing with higher frequencies now and here's the scope here's the 7 megahertz and right now the scope is at 0.1 volts per division and because if I leave it higher like for one at one volt I'm really not getting much of a waveform there so therefore I have to turn things up so we'll see what happens though in a second so again I am at um, 7 megahertz. I'm going to go ahead and go up to 7.1 megahertz and should get larger, which it actually is. 7.2. Now it's totally went off of the screen. So I, and then I can go ahead and readjust the scope to make that waveform smaller there. So 7.2. Now I'm going up to 7.3 megahertz okay I am over so that must be a 7.2 megahertz crystal so there's the 7.2 and now I am gonna go up basically um, 10,000 Hertz at a time So I'm at 7 megahertz and 190,000. 
and let me go ahead and try to okay I'm going the wrong way I'm already at I'm right over 7.2 megahertz and oh it's really going off there I'm at 7.197 megahertz and I think the waveform is getting smaller again is it not I just gotta keep manipulating here and I think right there is basically maximum and that is 7.1965 megahertz that can be seen right here so we can see this is a lot more accurate than um, the ceramic resonator the crystal is so we can see that the crystal was actually a lot more accurate than the ceramic resonator um, I was able to do the math and I figured out the crystal was um, at least 0.01% had at least 0.01% accuracy to it and this was over the rated 0.5% so I'm going to do one very last one to not make this too boring and too long but I have to be able to read this first here so I got to shut the camera off so I was able to read the printing on the crystal here and it said 4.332 megahertz and I'm going to dial in the signal generator for 4.2 um, megahertz and then I'm going to go ahead and slowly bring it up and here we are at 4.2 megahertz here's the waveform it's um, 0.1 volts per division that I've got it set up now and I'm at 4.2 I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up to 4.3 megahertz that's 4.3 megahertz and now I'm gonna bring it up to 4.33 megahertz and indeed it's getting larger so let me go ahead and turn down the vertical gain here I'm at 0.5 volts per division now and I'm going to go ahead and go from 4.3330 megahertz to 4.331 megahertz no oh, hit the wrong button so there we go 4.331 and 4.3332 I think it got a little bit smaller so I'm gonna to have to bring it up even um, in even smaller steps and we'll see what happens there getting larger and larger so I have to adjust the vertical gain and scoping in I'm at 4.3314 megahertz and I think I said it's rated at 4.332 megahertz so I'm at 4.3315 megahertz, 4.3316 megahertz, and there it's getting smaller. So it is 4.3316 megahertz, and it's rated for 4.332 megahertz. And again, that's 4.33. Basically, it's a little bit. Um, less than what it's rated at but I would say it's still within 0.01% accuracy and you can see that right there so anyways um, thanks for watching I hope this was at least a little bit enlightening now I'm going to go ahead and put these parts up in here and continue on with something else